Welcome back everyone. It's a beautiful Colorado morning and we're out here at the Willow Springs Ponds. We're going to be fishing for some trout. Let's get you on that chest mount. All right, welcome back everyone. Here we are. This is my brand new, it's a Scorpion BFS reel that I just got. I might have mentioned that in the last video that I was gonna be getting one in. So we finally got it in. I'm gonna be testing it out. The rig that we're gonna be using today is this double fluke rig, which I'm just using some gulp minnows. And um, this is commonly used for bass fishing, but we're gonna use it today for trout, which I'm pretty sure it will work on. Um, we still got a little bit of ice on the water, so we're going to try to see if we can pull some that are pretty close to that. I'm assuming they're using it as cover right now. So let's see if we can get some trout or something to follow this thing. It looks amazing in the water, that's for sure. They're, they look like two little bait fish kind of chasing each other. So all I'm doing here is just twitching, just a little twitch twitch and pause it and let them fall. Doing that back and forth. So we moved ponds. That pond was just not happening. It's too shallow. Um, super clear water, but I did not see a single fish. So now we're out at this spot, which is just a pond that's right next over. And hopefully we can catch them here. The water's a little bit more stained. It's starting to warm up a little bit more. So hopefully they're a little bit more active. All right, let's get going. I'm back at it with the double fluke rig. Let's see what we can do. We might just have to head to a different kind of place. Maybe another place here in Colorado Springs. So I have not seen anything at all. All right guys, I think we're gonna go try a different pond. See you there. number five for the day I've gone to four other lakes besides this one no luck so we're here at quail lake today the wind has definitely picked up we have a little bit more cloud cover so I apologize if there's a lot of wind noise but we're gonna try it out here we're gonna use a little tail spin since there's a lot more uh, wind pushing to the water and more chop we're gonna use this so it has a little bit more of a flash and typically I found that trout really like flash anyway, so let's cast around and see what happens. I've changed it up guys, I put the gold minnow, the fire tiger, let's see if we can catch something. I did get a bite on the other lure, but I want to see if maybe this one won't dice a little bit more bites. I'm running out of time.
All right, guys, we got one finally. Oh, jeez, it's been too long. All right, let's get him in the net. Oh, there we go, guys, finally. After five lakes. Jeez, I've actually worked hard for this guy. Really hard today. It's been tough. All right, guys, here we go. One trout. Sometimes it's, it is like this, just tough, and it's hard to catch them. But when you do, then it makes it all worth it. There you go, guys. Beautiful Colorado trout. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes. Whew. All right, guys. Let's try to see if we can um, get another one. He tore up my bait pretty good. Yeah, it came after it really super aggressive. So let's see if we can duplicate that. We finally got a catch on this guy. He did pretty well, I like him. And this rod, I really love this rod. I like the action of it. This is uh, the light action. So I really, I really like fast tip rods because I really like that backbone. I like being able to set the hook and not feeling under gunned all the time, but it's still light enough to where it makes everything really fun. And plus it's a two piece, so it's easy to travel with. Last cast. Last cast and we're taking off because I gotta go. All right guys, let's go. All right everyone, well that concludes the video for today. I've been having a hard time in Colorado so far fishing, but I know that it's gonna get better when spring comes around. I'm just hoping that it's just the weather that's causing this uh, fluctuation. We had like three hot days. We were around the, the 70s. And then like this Sunday, it's gonna be snowing again. So it's just, it's fluctuating too much, uh, which I know is affecting the fishing. But I do appreciate you guys watching until the end. Uh, share, like, and comment, subscribe. And I'll be putting out more videos. Hopefully with most fish catches. Thank you. Appreciate it.